night. We roll into our campground. It's about 10.30. Hey, Jasp. You gonna say hi? It's about 10.30 p.m. and we're tired. We It's been a long drive. We've sat in nothing but traffic. Like, I'm not kidding you. The whole ride was just traffic. It was insane. Um, and we pull into our campsite. Now listen, we are brand new. Totally not super experienced with backing in a trailer. So kudos to all you people that, you know, have an easy time doing it. But remember the new folks. Check in on them. So we're at the campsite. And it's it's dark. It's campground. And there are people here. We do have a neighbor to our right. So we're as quiet as we can be. <laughs> okay. John has me stand at the corner of our driveway with a flashlight. So he knows where to start aiming the trailer. Because we still have not found a good backup camera. We've tried one. Um... And I think what we, I, I think the key is you just need to spend a lot of money to have a good backup trailer. Like that's our thought. So for now, I'm the backup trailer. And uh, let's just say, you know, me and John, every time we've been through this, I'm surprised we're married at the end of it. I get out, I have a headlamp on, I have a flashlight on so he can kind of spot where I'm at. It is snowing. Okay, not like heavy blizzard snow but it is like lightly snowing. You know, normally you would be like, oh, this is so pretty. No, it's snowing. And we have just driven five hours through traffic with the trailer and your girl here is out in Birkenstocks because you know, you gotta travel, you wanna travel comfy. You don't have to necessarily travel warm. You have a heat in your car, right? I am in Birkenstocks and no jacket. And I'm not kidding you. I am like, I think I'm going to become hypothermic. It is so cold. John finally, after multiple attempts, gets the trailer parked. We're good. You know, we're hanging out and the dogs are like adapting. Jasper, my um, bigger dog has never been in here in the Navy. My small dog um, has, she's camped with us once. So Jasper was just very excited. And me and John literally got in bed and our bed is so comfy in here. So it was such a welcome thing just getting in bed and we were so tired. And um, I am like, I cannot warm up. I think I had become so numb from standing outside for so long because then we had to like walk the dogs and stuff. I just am like, I, it was so crazy. Anyway, um, we're here and I'm so excited to have you hang out with us and I'll show you around. But yeah, it was just crazy getting here and I just thought I'd share that. And um, yeah, but you know, it's some of the most beautiful places you gotta drive far, right? So that's part of the experience. All right guys, see you in a bit.
Hey, John. What's up? You want to tell everybody where we're at? Uh, we're in Oak Harbor, Washington, but we just got done going to Tractor Supply, which we've never been to. And John got a new hat. Got a new hat. See, I'm super excited. It was very fun. It was a very fun place to go check out. Jasper's with us. <laughs> Jasper's trying to get up into so the water. So Oak Harbor is on Whidbey Island. Yep, in Washington. Yeah, State. it's a pretty cool place. So yeah, it's really cool. John's getting the camper leveled out and it is currently hailing. So yeah, in true Pacific Northwest fashion, here we go. This is the view from our campsite though. So that right over there is actually the Puget Sound. Super beautiful area. Our little setup. Just a really pretty campground. We're site 118, and it is a non electrical site, which is fine, but it's just absolutely gorgeous. Gotta love northern Ooh. Washington. So this is the first time we're putting up our little awning on the casita. And of course, while we're doing this, there's a mix of rain, snow, and hail. So, yeah. How did that one come out? That whole thing comes out. Ben, this is bigger than I thought. Nice and new. Oh, shoot. Hold on. Let me... It is cold. Man, this thing's tall. Well, I can make it shorter. I'm trying to make it shorter a little bit. Because... Oh, to kind of get it where the water can run off of it? Well, I don't know. Oh, is that thunder? I don't know. All right. I wonder if I should bring it in a little bit, huh? It doesn't have to go that far out. Yeah. Well, that might be waves. I don't know. Probably good like that, huh? Yeah. I could even make it come in more if I wanted to. And then that side's lower, I think, so the water. So can the go water off can run off. Yeah. All right. There it is with the awning set up. First time. We got some sun and we got some snow and Jasper's looking at the beer and approves. We are drinking what's local, so that'll be fun. And John's gonna set up our chairs and our little table. The only thing we messed up on is we forgot our little buddy heater. Um, if you are a camper and do not have a little, little buddy heater, get yourself one. They truly are warm and we forgot ours, so. Yeah, it'll be fun though. We'll still have a good time. Jasper and Navy approve.
Pete just wants to run and go play. We gotta go walk by on the other side of the people oh. so we can should let Navy go. The hounds are free. Living their best life. Look at that sky.
So these bathrooms are actually really nice. I thought I'd show you the shower. No one's in here. Um, but we are in a state park in Oregon, so showers are generally free. But this is huge, and I feel it's very clean. I always wear my chacos in the shower, but yeah, plenty of space to get changed and nice and clean. Nothing beats a camp shower. It was great. Look at that view out of our um, trailer. I'm about ready to get to make dinner, but I was just like, oh my gosh, that's so beautiful. It is so cold outside. I was going to walk back down now, down to the water tonight, and I'm just like, I can't do it. It's so cold. I got to defrost. So I'm in the warm, cozy trailer. Jasper and Navy are, they are so tired. It has been a very long and busy day. And we're cold, huh? We got to warm up. Are you tired? Navy, you tired, Mama? Hey, guys, it's me getting warm in the camper still, but I am actually going to be making dinner. This is a space that I have in this trailer to make dinner. Um, if you kind of stand back from here, you can kind of see. It's not, it's not huge. It, I do have three burners, which is nice, um, but I uh, have never cooked dinner in this camper before. So, one thing me and John said is that we were not going to cook in the camper, but we're cooking in the camper tonight because it is really cold outside um, and like they're even forecasting for snow. So this is going to be exciting. I'm making goulash. So I have um, a little bit of beef broth to help season the beef, some tomato sauce, petite diced. I did this seasoning blend before I left home which um, I would actually have to look at the recipe to remember everything that's in it, but chili powder, cumin, oregano, everything like that. Bell pepper, onion. My mom always did um, goulash with um, bow ties, so gotta do the bow ties. So yeah, let's see how this goes. This is gonna be quite uh, different for me. All right, so one of the things about cooking is I do have two ventilation systems other than just the windows and the door. Um, I turned on our max fan and then I have a fan here. So I think we're good because that's like the one thing I'm worried about is smell. I'm um, staying in the trailer, but everybody I've talked to and have heard from they're saying it's really not a thing. So we'll see how it goes. The goulash that I'm making is the goulash that my mom made as when I was a kid. And I honestly do not know how traditional it is. And my mom is no longer with us. So unfortunately I can't ask her um, for her specific recipe. And I would advise you if there's a recipe that you want from your mom or anybody for that matter get it when you can because there's you know you never know life tomorrow's never promised and uh she made this a lot when we were growing up and it was actually one of my favorite things that she made and she even made it um into you know adulthood and but i never knew exactly how she did it so i've always kind of just tried my best to mimic it and, um, but I know that she always put chili powder in it. I could always taste the chili powder in it. So again, I don't know how traditional this is. So I'm just gonna chop up some red bell pepper. And I have an onion that we're gonna be chopping up. So yeah, let's get to chopping.
right, let's talk about cooking inside. It was a success. Um, I think if you uh, sit there and you think it through and you kind of make a plan, um, I think it can work. It's not going to be my always go-to thing to cook in the camper. I'd prefer to cook outside. It's just so gosh dang cold outside that I'm just like, I can't do it tonight. So um, yeah, I think it went really well and I'm going to eat and I'll catch you guys in a little bit. Good morning. So this is the only problem with the trailer is um, condensation on the windows. It's crazy. So we got to figure that out. I've heard about a few things that um, could get the condensation off. And obviously we have airflow and start drying the windows that way. But um, yeah, that's the only thing I've noticed since having a trailer is just the condensation on the windows. Well, it is day the day that we're leaving and heading back home for work. Um, this has been an awesome weekend. We're, again, we're at Deception Pass State Park in Northwest Washington. Such an awesome area. The other way is Anna Cortez. And then if you go up Highway 20, you'll hit a spot called Cedro Woolley, which um, is the gateway to the Cascades. And the Cascades will freaking blow your mind. They're so beautiful. I've only been up there once um and a couple summers ago and cannot wait to get back and explore i've only been in the northwest for eight years so there's so much to explore and do but if you guys find yourself in this area stay at least one night at deception pass state park it's incredible our trailer is 17 foot we're in a pull through we're site 118 and it's just it's it fits us perfectly it's so gorgeous here so yeah and time to clean the trailer which means stripping the bed and sweeping the floors because these guys make a mess so but they're worth it see you in a bit hey johnny b hey how's it going um today is sunday morning we're gonna get ready to leave we have a long drive home so um this is day three in deception pass and uh we love it out here so behind us i don't know if it'll pick up in the camera but behind us there's actually a little tip of cranberry lake and then behind that is the puget sound so that's our view this morning great way to wake up and have a cup of coffee um we're actually on so deception pass state park is in washington state we're actually um on an uh, island called Whidbey island and so it feels like part of the mainland. It's a big island, and it's only um, separated from the mainland by a by a small stretch of water. And there's a bridge over that water, so the bridge connects to the mainland. But uh, yeah, so we're on island time, is what we've been saying all weekend. Join me on my little hike to the bathroom. Ah, uh, we're gonna go around, guys. We're not gonna hike it. We're just gonna go the normal boring old parking lot. There's the setup. Isn't she so cute? So it's probably a little too small. how we went to the water yesterday down to the beach you just can't beat this campground it's beautiful
So it's just a little hike back from the bathroom. Isn't it so pretty? I missed this trail the first time, so I'm glad I found it. This really is such a beautiful state park. Um, we've only ever been here in the summer. This is our first time we've been here in the winter. And I gotta tell you, it's special when it's off season. Because during the summer, of course, it's just packed with people. But the off season, there's only a few people here and it just feels incredibly special. Looks like John's ready to go. Is it time? It's time. These dogs are crazy for you though. She's gonna jump.